Hey everyone, hope you're having a great weekend. So this is your market snapshot for August 25th, 2024. So last week in the markets, the SPY finished up 1.4%, uh, followed by the NASDAQ at 1.0, and then the uh, IWM the, uh, finished up 3.74%, so it had a pretty big week, especially on Friday. And you may be wondering what was the cause of this rally on Friday. So on Friday, uh, Jerome Powell made a speech, or had a speech, and basically just mentioned that um, interest rates are going to be cut at the next meeting. And a couple of different articles here saying that removes any uncertainty around uh, rate cuts in September. Um, one thing he is not mentioning is um, how fast and how much. Um, he's basically just signaling that a real a rate cut will happen in September, and that's about it. And if we will look at the Fed Watch tool, um, looks like basically a quarter of a point is the rate cut that they have priced in right here now, uh, showing about seventy five percent. 24% for roughly a half point. But looking back at the chart, um, I've got the 180-day four-hour chart, and I've kind of zoomed in from the April till the current date. And we can see that, you know, our, our fall that we had uh, beginning in the middle of July, we actually came down roughly the 78% uh, percent on the Fibonacci retracement here back up. And I think I mentioned last week that we were probably kind of have somewhat of a flat week. And it looks like we did across those five days. We just rolled in between here. Um, I would say that if we do not have any negative news next week, um, there's a pretty good certainty that we're going to um, come back up to the new high and possibly even make a new high next week. I will not be surprised if that happens, um, but obviously there's no guarantees of that happening either. So as far as news next week, uh, we got a couple of things coming up next week. Uh, consumer confidence on Tuesday. A couple of FOMC members are speaking on Wednesday and really Thursday as well next week. Uh, so we need to kind of watch out for that. Um, unemployment on Thursday as usual. Uh, GDP on Thursday. And the uh, core PCE on Friday. So just need to take note of those. So for earnings next week, it looks like NVIDIA is on Wednesday. That's going to be probably the biggest one um, coming out this week. So kind of watch for that to see what they do. Because right now they are kind of moving in the market or they have been in the past. Uh, but anyway, that's on next week after the close on Wednesday. And if you're not familiar, the way I like to trade earnings is I wait for the earnings announcement to hit. And then I wait seven to 10 days after that earnings announcement. That's normally a good time to sell a cash secure put. Can work well, uh, especially if one of them drops, you know, five to 10%. I like to wait a few days to see if they found a low, because oftentimes what you'll see is when they do drop after an earnings announcement, sometimes they'll drop and they'll create a support right there within that first week. And it's good to sell, you know, 45 to 60 days out. For a cash secured put like that. And speaking of cash secured puts, uh, this week we went all the way out to the 1018 expiration, which is 54 days away. Uh, we did 3% out of the money. Um, I just want to show maybe a, a few longer duration trades here. But if you're not familiar, this is just a, a group of ETFs I've added in here. And then this is what I like to call the weeklies. Um, same expiration 1018, but on this one we just went 2% out of the money. Um, but everything is listed in an alphabetical order right here. And this is what I like to call the weeklies. These are the S&P 500 stocks that offer a weekly options expiration. And I'll scroll down here. And what you can do is just pause the video if you see something. Um, but anyway, everything is labeled here, uh, what everything is. The primary things to look at is going to be the put strike right here. The return on capital for the trade. This is the annualized return on capital. Um, we have the strike listed again right here. And we also have the bid and the ask for that actual contract. Uh, we have ex, uh, earnings and how many days away that is. And this is actually trading days and not calendar days. So if this seven says seven trading days away, away or seven days away, that is seven trading days, not calendar days. A couple of other things we have in here. We have the RSI and we have the IV percentile here. I have the percent away from the 52-week high and the 52-week low. We have the delta of the cash secured put listed right here. I've got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, yield, so if it pays a dividend, it'll be listed right here. And lastly, I thought we would look at maybe some open interest and volume uh, for next week. So this is actually next Friday's expiration in SPX. Um, so right now, SPX is at 56.34. Uh, like I said, it's a Sunday right now. But this past Friday, you know, we can see that uh, basically the 56.50 and the 5700 
had a decent amount of volume um, on Friday, and then open interest. Um, they have pretty decent open interest as well. It looks like the 5750 here has the highest open interest, and this is actually Friday's expiration once again, next week the 30th. And then another thing I've been trying to plot is just gamma exposure here. And, you know, once again, we can see about 5650 has the highest rate of that. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye.